Hey, Pecky, how about you and me go and roll a few bowling balls? Jesus, Nico, I thought you were in the pen I hadn't heard from you in so long. Okay, bowling with a psycho Balkan sounds like fun. Come get me in the next hour. All right, we're on, Pecky. There you are. Let's move out. Nico boy, how's it going? What's happening with you? This and that, you know. Trying to make ends meet. Aren't we all, Nico? Aren't we all? Well, sometimes we're trying to keep our heads above the water, other times we're trying to drown ourselves in it. You feel that way? You ever feel that need to obliterate yourself? Maybe sometimes. I mainly try to focus my need to destroy things onto other people. <laughs> That's because you ain't Irish. If an Irishman ain't beating himself up, he's beating up his family. With me, it's myself. My pa was different. It's this fucking chop that's screwing me at the moment. I can't go out and look for chicks without it. But once I'm out, I'm in the can most of the night doing rails. After that, there ain't a chance in hell of me being able to get a heart. It's a fucking catch-22. I gotta cut down on this shit. That might be a good idea, man. Sorry! Welcome to Memory Lanes. We have a lane open for you. That's a strike! Second time lucky! I'm kind of pleased with myself. Shit! I knew that ball was too heavy.
How very average of me. Man, I am terrible. Try to keep it out of the gutter. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty good at bowling. Pretty mediocre. Here comes the fucking skills! I like that. I've got another turn. Shit. I never liked bowling anyway. Hey, take me back to Mars. Are you taking the Shit. piss? Somewhere to go, we may as well go at pace. I like it.
You don't hold back, do you? Later on, man. Call me. Becky, hey, let's play darts, man. Darts? Could be fun if I imagine my old man's head is a bullseye. Pick me up in the next hour. Sure, Becky. We have an arrangement. <laughs> These chuntis are giving us a bad name. Nico, we're good to go. You alright, Nico boy? Sure, how you doing? As long as I don't think about things, fantastic. Sometimes I think that it's true for all of us. Sure, I reckon it is. Maybe that's why the world is divided into the drunk and the miserable. Maybe. Although my dad was both drunk and miserable. Right fucking idiot. I'm sorry about that. He messed the whole fucking family up, I reckon. I used to think I loved him, then I realized I hated him. Drunken bastard, fuck him. Has he been dead long? Yes, but not long enough. I wish he'd been drowned at birth, got rid of the lot of us. You're not very cheerful today. No, I'm sorry. Happy thoughts, puppies, and little girls smiling, and clowns, and all that shit. Sorry. I don't like losing, Nico. 
If you weren't such a gracious winner, I might have got real angry. Take me back to the house. That was a good crack, man. Catch you around. Hey, man. You want to go get a drink? Drink, King. It's an old Irish pastime. Nico, how can I say no? Pick me up in the next hour. All right. We're on, Pecky. Nico, we're good to go. You're getting to know the McCreary family pretty good, Nico boy. What's left of it, at least? You're good people. I like it how you have stayed together. All of us except for Francis. We stayed together when it was possible. I guess we got Ma to thank for that, taking us to church and cooking a big lunch for the family on a Sunday. When Jerry first went to juvie, she kept laying a place at the table for him. That was until my pa got into a drunken rage one week and threw Jerry's plate against the wall. What happened? Ma didn't even flinch, she just sat there. The next week, Gerald's place at the table was empty. She must be a strong woman. That's what I thought at first. Now I just reckon it was denial. She got this power to switch off. When Paul would get drunk and do things, she'd just glaze over. I don't know, she's my ma, but I ain't never gonna understand that. There's a lot that I am never going to understand, Becky. A whole fucking lot. Fucking get there! Once I've started, I could drink all fucking night. Really? That's good to know. Come over here, you sexy bitch. You wanna start something, pendejo? Nobody fucks with me around here. Nico, man, Nico. I just want to. I just want to say. I just. I just want to say something. What? Let me think. Shut up and <coughs> let me think. Let me be the whole of me life. No one ever let me be. Do this, Packy. 
Go there. Hit him. Touch me there. You're sick. You're all fucking sick. Every last one of you. What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm pissed. I'm pissed and I'm saying st stupid shit about shit. And I'm going to hell. And the world is ugly and unkind. <gasps> But I can't express it! So I get fucked up! And I goes and hits a cunt! And this called being a man? Fuck it! Quite frankly, I'd rather be a fucking puddle of piss! You're fun when you're drunk. Fuck you! I'm not exactly sober. I better not be driving. Eat me. some fun, Nico. Speak to you soon. Patrick, fancy a game of pool? Pool it is. Come get me in the next hour. Great. I'll be there soon. Let's move out. How you doing? Okay, you know? Sure. Great apart from all the blood and the guilt, eh? Kinda messed up this kind of life, isn't it? Yes. But then what's the alternative? Be a hero with feet of clay or be a drunk and a thug and a killer? But at least you ain't a fucking hypocrite. I don't know. Bury your brother, bury your dad, but at least you can look in the mirror and feel okay? Feel like a man? I saw my brother get killed a long time ago. He was a good friend of Roman's, too. We never speak about it. I'm sorry. I knew you could understand that grief. Pain comes easy to the McCreary's. Pain and remorse and doing whatever we can to forget about them. Yes. Maybe we're all hypocrites. All imbeciles. Francis, you know about Francis? He wanted to be a priest. Really? He got thrown out of the seminary for cheating. He tried to cheat God. Can you believe it? So he became a fucking cop. Thanks. Give us some, Nico. A 
Jesus Christ! Fucking hustler, Nico. You ain't never gonna beat me at pool. I'm not even drunk. Surrounded by parasites. I'll break. You missed! Ouch! Damn! There you go. I will get the hang of this. Shit! Take your next shot already! I think that's my ball then, right? Thank you. 
That's in. Lucky! Foul, Nico Bellic. <laughs> you ain't never gonna make this. Aren't you great at pool, Nico? Want another game? Nico, you beat me at pool. That don't make you a better man. Hey, take me back to Moss. Jobless. You look like you're up to no good. That bullshit is gonna get you planted. Some fun, Nico. Speak to you soon. Pecky, man, how are you? How about we go see a show? I wait at the house for an hour. Let's go see a fucking show. You got it, Pecky. There you are. Let's move out. Nico!
Nico, boy! Nico! You still in contact with your family back in, uh, wherever? With what's left of them. I'm not so lucky to have my whole family in one city. Us McCreary's never flew far from the nest. We all stuck close to home. All of us apart from Derek, that is. He left us to visit the old country. Liberty City was never enough for him. He was always a dreamer. That's probably why he got into smack. Took him to another world. Cocaine is a realist's drug, right? Keeps you in the moment? Keeps your head up your own fucking ass. Mr. Ricky Gervais! Whoa. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it really is me. Calm down. I do a lot of work for charity. I don't do enough. They say you can always do more. But I look at it like this. It's a pain, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing in it for me. Do a lot of work for, um, cancer. That's my chosen charity. Do a lot of work for people with cancer. And they're welcome to it. But I will say this. If I ever get cancer myself, I'm going to walk into the nearest hospital and go, right, I paid for that machine. Get that little bald fucker off it. <laughs> Talking of, um, little bald fuckers, I did the teenage cancer gig last year. What? No, I'd done it two years before, but they called again last year. We're still ill. <laughs> you lasted. It's a great gig, though. The kids with cancer get in for free and you meet them afterwards and, you know, they come backstage and you sign stuff for them. And I was doing the gig this last year. And I looked down and I recognised one of them. And I thought, oh yeah, he came backstage two years ago. I, he was telling me about his illness and he said he was 18. And that was then, that was two years ago, so now he must be 20. So how the fuck is he still a teenager? <laughs> and I was doing the gig and he was laughing along. And I was thinking, yeah, you laugh it up, mate. I was fuming. And eventually it got too much for me. And I went, all right, mate, I recognise you. I went, hello, yeah. You came backstage two years ago. I went, yeah. I said, you said you were 18 then. I went, yeah, so you're 20 now. I went, yeah. I said, get out. And I called security. And they came. He struggled, but he was weak. I mean, I think they'd worked out, because they, although they had trouble getting hold of him to start with, do you know? But eventually, they, his drip nearly had someone's eye out. The crowd started booing. I went, hear that? They don't want to see someone like you take the piss out of me. No money. I do a lot of work for AIDS as well. I've worked for AIDS charities for many years, from the mid to late 80s. And back then, people, they didn't know what this new disease, what's this new disease called AIDS? I mean, it's gone from strength to strength now, hasn't it? It's gone global, it's doing very well. <laughs> Got its own day and everything. World AIDS Day, 1st of December. I don't think it'll ever take off like Christmas. We don't do anything in our house. No decorations. You can't even get a card. They don't do, sorry, you got AIDS cards. They don't exist. Uh, fascinating fact about AIDS. People always learn stuff from my lectures. This is absolutely true. The HIV virus was actually a combination of two separate viruses in rhesus monkeys. And it formed a, a rudimentary form of AIDS. And uh, this was passed to chimpanzees. Sometimes chimps will get a bloodlust and they'll eat a, a rhesus monkey. And it sort of mutated and evolved in chimpanzees. And because we're 98.6% genetically identical to chimpanzees, it was able to be passed to humans. And the first human contracted AIDS when he was chopping up chimp meat and cut his finger. Although that's the excuse I'd have given. <laughs> You'd have to come up with someone, wouldn't you? The doctor goes, well, you're the first human to contract AIDS. And you go, is that bad? Yeah, it can be. Well, how would I have got that? Two ways. One, you were fucking a chimp up the arse. No way. What's the other way I could have got it? Uh, well, I suppose you could have been chopping up a chimp and cut your finger. That one. I bet he went straight out to the jungle and found that chimp. He went, Oi, you fucking gave me AIDS. I gave you what? You gave me AIDS. I gave you a blowjob. Shush. No, I got AIDS from you. Well, how did I get AIDS? From eating monkeys. <laughs> I, I don't eat monkeys. You're either eating them or fucking them. <laughs> I was eating them. Tastes like chicken. That's how it happened. Thanks very much. Good night.
This is the way to do it, Nico. Later on, man. Call me. <laughs> Patrick, how's it going? How about we go check out the gentleman's club? All right, man. I'm up for seeing some chicks. Come get me in the next hour. You got it, Becky. Let's move out. What's going on, Nico? Usual kind of chaos. Sure, sure. Chaos we all know about. Jerry was the only one who ever tried to live beyond the chaos. What makes him different? I'm not sure, but it didn't do him much good either way. I think it was because of Derek. Why? Because Derek was a grass in England. He was involved in that business and he grasped on some people to avoid doing some serious time. And then went into hiding for years. I did not know that. Thank you. No, he spun it different, but that was the truth. A grass to avoid doing time. That's why Jerry won't bend. He sees it as penance for the sins of his brother. Crazy fucking idiot.
I'm nearly bursting, Nico. This is gonna be fucking great. Oh, no need for you to line up. You like what you see here, baby? Oh, are you gonna enjoy this? Come on. You know, I do a private show. Let me give you my card. These are the American titties my cousin told me about. me grinding up on you does your mama know you do this You like what I got here, sugar? This no touching rule is killing me. Oh, baby, I can see you enjoyed that. Mmm, oh, that was nice. They don't build them like this back home. Knowledge my square. What's up? I've had enough. Can we get on? Sure, I'm done with these bitches. Eat me. After the thoughts I was thinking in there. Drop me a Mars, will ya? Nico! I 
some fun, Nico. Speak to you soon.